Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. And I'm pretty sure I know how to get the snacks here now. So we can quick finish this up and then, you know, head over to the to the Smuggler's Cove area and start 100%ing that place. And... Yeah, this looks... bad. So I'm pretty sure I got snacks to appear out of crypt number two here. Just from pressing the second button. But apparently there are combinations that you have to do. And they might be a bit randomized. I didn't look up all the combinations. Like, I didn't pay that close attention to them. But supposedly the order I'm about to do is one of them. So we'll try this. And see what it does, and if it doesn't do the right thing... Then we'll try some other combinations. I saw snacks come out, gosh darn it, game. So it is a button combination thing. Why, though? Okay, I saw... well... I need to leave and come back to get these buttons to come back up. I saw one other combination. I can't remember what the last combination is. So I might have to do some trial and error here, which is great. It's a warp day! Let's do it in this order now. Right. That didn't seem to give me anything, from what I could tell. So, th oh wait, yes it did. It came out of this one, though. I'm really starting to wish I actually paid attention to what that last code was. Do I dare try to look it up while I'm, like, loading things around? I'm trying to look this up. It's a warp day. Right. I'm not sure what order to do this in, so I'm just gonna do this in a somewhat random order this time while I'm trying to look stuff up. And hopefully it'll give me something. Oh no! It's a zombie! I'll go up and check if any rewards have been given to me. They probably haven't. It doesn't look like it. I really wish I had all this prepared beforehand. I should have actually paid attention to all the codes. 
But the thing is, the guide I saw specifically said, if these codes don't work, then, you know, try other combinations. So it made it sound like it was randomized. Trying to look this up and play at the same time, it's not easy. Oh no, it's a zombie! Okay, I'm there. <laughs> and this should be the last code. <gasps> I have no idea how you're supposed to know these codes. But I'm gonna both hope and assume that that worked. Because if it didn't, we've got a problem. We have a problem. Oh no! It's a zombie! Am I really just gonna have to do random codes now? Because that's awful. I don't want to do that. <laughs> like, I don't even know what... what codes I've tried. Oh no! It's a zombie! Please give me something. Right. So this seems like the sort of thing that'd be awful to do on camera. So what I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna ignore this place for now. And we're gonna start off a later video by putting in whatever the correct combination for this is. So, for now, let's get the heck out of here. Because, my goodness, I do not want to have to deal with that. Okay, let's head over to Smuggler's Cove. Now, what am I missing in this section? Right. We jumped up here. Now, I know there was a weird part I could get to. That I wasn't sure if I was doing it right. There's also a button to push. I see snacks up here. Which I'm probably supposed to get to after pushing this button down here. Or that just drops and gives me more snacks, sure. There's just snacks up in the air that I just couldn't reach before. Oh, and I know there's some snacks we can glide to over here. Yeah, these ones. It's 
So we should be good to go forward now. So over here, yeah, I know there's a weird area, like, back there. And I'm not sure how you're supposed to get there, but I did get there earlier. Through some weird means. <laughs> Like, just jumping back here, and this worked. But then I didn't really have the jumping capabilities to get back here after that. But with my bubbles, I should be able to. So I can take care of that flying fish. All snacks collected. And there is no monster tokens there, so... We should be able to move on to fishy clues for Scooby-Doo. Right. Yeah, this was a weird secret, because it just doesn't seem like you should be able to get back here. But whatever. Oh, you can just walk back here? Okay, never mind. It's not that weird of a secret, then. Anyways, in this section, do we just need snacks or are there monster tokens? There's two monster tokens to get here in this four section level. That's a lot of stuff we need. But we can push these buttons now. So I predicted that snacks would come out of this machine then. I was wrong, this just lowered this down. Giving me a way up to an area that I believe I've already been to. So that was pointless. I also already got all the stuff on the conveyor that lowered. Okay then. Well, what now? Is there another button I can pound? I mean, there's this one, but... I should have been able to do that before. That's right. There's this place we can glide to, and that'll bring us up higher, up to that monster token. How do we get back up from here, though? Here we go. Right! So that blows us over. We missed one snack, which I was able to get while riding up, so that's cool. We got Gator Ghoul and the Tar Monster. Or just the Tar Monster. Now there should be some more stuff co to collect somewhere in the three upcoming areas. But I think we've got part one down pretty good. <laughs> what about this area? There's a button to pound here that'll bring the lift down so we can get up to this section. I believe that's all... No, let me up, please. But yeah, I believe that's all we were missing in this section, was just the lift up to here. I know there's one place in a later section I was supposed to glide to. But I didn't have the ability to glide yet, so I was worried that going over there would get me stuck, because I could get over there. I just didn't have the ability I was supposed to have yet. Why is there nothing up here? That bothers me. Why was there nothing up there? 
Like, nothing important. Hmm. Well, for now, I'll just keep going. I don't think there's anything else in this area to get. I mean, I'll hit this switch quick just to remind myself of what it does. Oh my gosh, Scooby. Okay, that just brings that lift down. That's kind of what I figured. All right, let's keep going. Do I see snacks up there? No, that's just food to heal me. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, let's move on. So, this area, are there any buttons to push? Right. Or should I just move on? I don't see any buttons, so let's head up. Oh, I know there's a part high up that we couldn't get to yet in here. First, I gotta do some platforming. Yeah, because we, we want to get up to that ice cube. Not that it looks like there's anything important up there, but we couldn't get up there before. So there's probably some importance to it. Probably. Is it really just more healing? What's with all the pointless locked areas that just give you healing in this, in, in these levels here? Is there a button to push over here? So I don't remember where all the ground buttons were. But I do remember that, like, there were some in areas like this, and we already pushed one of them. I'm not sure if there was more. But I find that this whole fish cannery area all looks kind of similar. But this fourth part should be where I can glide up. I see a monster token back there, along with some snacks. I'm gonna briefly check down here to see if there's a button. And then I'm gonna head on over and get what is hopefully the rest of the stuff in this level. Ow. Okay, so there does not seem to be a button, so let's just get across that wall. Just get across the wall and move on. We can glide over here now. And from here, we probably would have been stuck if we would have jumped down without having the umbrella. So it looks like I made a good call on not dropping down into here. And we can glide up with this. There's our monster token. And hopefully our last snacks. That is not our last snacks. I don't know what to do now. Where else could there be snacks? We're at the end of this area. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, up here. I remember that now. I'm not quite sure how to get up here. But I remember that there was stuff up here. Looks like I'm gonna have to climb back up and just make my way up there. Alright. Is that... That is all our snacks. Good. So yeah, this area is done. Fear on the pier has some snacks to get. This is ba this is pretty much going smoothly aside from that one code we need back in that stupid right. tomb. Right. Okay, so there's some snacks right here. And a button to bring down that thing so we can swing and get them. Alright, come on, Scooby, you can get those. I can't tell if I'm going too far or not enough. Let's just try to go directly towards it. Oh my gosh. There we go, jumping helps. Okay, so that should be everything in this section, I assume. So let's move on to one of the other two sections. <laughs> yeah, I remember here, because well, I need to be able to smash through the floor. <laughs> So yeah, here's one spot to smash through the floor. I think I dropped straight into some water. Let's try this spot instead. It looks like there's ground below me here. Of course I missed that snack. All right, and I can break through that from below. So hopefully this is the last snack. Otherwise, we've got to move on to part three. We've got to move on to part three. clue where stuff could be hidden here. Oh, right here, maybe. I didn't realize this was here. Hey, there's another boat that doesn't sink or... or, you know, tilt me into the water. It, it is rocking a bit. So it might not be as sturdy as that one boat in the rising water section. But still pretty good. That box isn't, though. That box is mean to me. Right. There I go! Will this be everything? Not quite. There's some snacks above me. Which has me really concerned. How on earth do I get those? Right. Ah, the pelican. 
Rahu! The pelican that I rode before and Shaggy rode before that. This will give us everything we need. Groovy! All snacks collected. Very nice. So I believe I need to move back to part one to keep going. Because, yeah, this should be complete. Yeah. In that section, I'm gonna need some snacks and two monster tokens. <laughs> Let's just make our way over there. Run! I'm not really sure what collecting that stuff is going to entail, but I'm sure it won't be too hard. So far, the only really stupid part of collecting all this stuff was those codes. Coast for some ghosts, part one. Considering the fact that I still need two monster tokens here, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to explore all three areas. So this just sounds like an area where I, I'm missing a lot of stuff. I know I can use the... Yeah, yeah the... The umbrella here to get all the stuff we couldn't get above these holes. Or I can just walk on smoke. Or steam, or whatever that stuff is. That opened up a... That did not open up a secret passage. What was the point of that? I don't understand. Where I roam! Run! Run! I, I really don't understand. Scooby! I'm not going down there. Okay, here's some more snacks to get. And I think I might have saw something in the foreground. No, I didn't. Final box of snacks there. And now we're finally back here. There's some stuff I can get up here, but mainly we want to go up here with our little plunger legs. Little plunger feet. And there's just tons of stuff to get all over here. It's given us bubbles for some reason. And I know there's platforms over here to go to. Right? I mean, it gave me bubbles, so I figured, why not? Maybe that's why it gave me bubbles. Unless I can glide to it from here. The camera angle's all screwed up now. Let's fix that. There we go. So we've explored all this, and we're still missing two monster tokens, huh? Right. Why do I see stuff up here? That's a place I can go. 
What's up here? Just the food? I can't go in the door or anything? What was the point of that? Okay, I guess let's just move on. Definitely concerned by my lack of monster tokens. Because, yeah, we're in the last section of... We're not in the last section of this? Didn't we just go through two parts? I'm confused. I must have lost count of something at some point. Well, we can get up here, that's for sure. Or at the very least, hitting that button must have done something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what that button did. Did it stop the crushers from working? Because they don't seem to be crushing. Which is nice, but it's also kind of unnecessary. Now, I saw that. I guess it is necessary, because then this thing turns on and we can explore up here, which has some goodies for us. Cool. Including some token. snacks and a monster token. And now we should be good to go on to the next section. So what is over here? I definitely don't have all this memorized, but I see a ton of stuff back there I need. Including the remaining monster token and probably the rest of the snacks. I just need to get back there, which I assume this button will help me with. Alright, here we go. This is probably the rest. And... I was gonna say with the parasol, I probably won't screw this up, but then I immediately screwed it up. Yeah, the, the jumps here are really precise, getting all those snacks. We'll do it, though. It's just gonna be tricky. My health is down to nothing, but we've got some food here, and my health doesn't really matter here anyways, since the water is just insta-kill. Okay, the boats come back. How nice of them. I didn't realize it was gonna be like that. Alright, we got the sea creature there. All snacks collected. This level's done. So, now where are we going? We've also finished up going down which way, which was just a hub area, so I guess Lighthouse Fright House is next. 
I wonder if we want to get stuff from the higher part or the lower part. Because we can't go straight to the higher part, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no warp there either. But there is a warp at the end of the... Of the higher part. Did I say we couldn't go straight to the lower part? I meant the higher part. Higher on the map, not higher in altitude. That's where the confusion comes in. So we want to go this way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so, because that other way went to the end of this whole Smuggler's Cove area. This way goes to the lighthouse. Lighthouse Fright House Part 1. How much stuff do I need in here? I know I need stuff. I don't know how much. No tokens, just a few snacks. So this is where we got the pound ability, so... The pound is what allow allowed us to go down through that hole to continue on. And I don't really want to take a one-way path right now, so... Let's try to get in the lighthouse again if we can go fast enough. Right. Whoa, I was up on the railing there. Right. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Nothing in here this time, of course. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. So, we should just head on down. Yeah, let's go down. Lighthouse Fright House Part 2. There's probably stuff for me to collect in this section. There's so much food up here. We definitely didn't do this before. All that gliding there. That's right. This was the part where I could press that. But I couldn't use it because I didn't have the umbrella yet. But doesn't that just go back to the mystery machine? And where do these two doors go again? Yeah, that's one way. I, I do want to try that out, but not yet. Okay, this way goes where I want to go. The lower route would have gone to the secret passages. Right. Lighthouse Fright House Part 3 is right here. I already see some snacks I didn't get. So this is a good sign. Oh right, because I couldn't do this yet. So I haven't really explored this area at all. Right. I guess let's just make our way around since we have all the items, it's not that bad to platform now. I mean, we've got the double jump, we've got the parasol. We've got it all. I 
got our bubble gum and our soap bubbles. You know, an ability that we never really got much use out of in this game? Sneaking. We even got a new costume for it. And it was just never really much of a use. I love being able to use that pound, too. I'm so glad we got that ability. It was just awful not being able to attack. Like, remember when we couldn't even charge like that? Oh, hey, a, a, a perfectly stable boat. Those are a rare sight, but they're becoming more common. Is this the end? Float up this pipe for a one-way shortcut to the road that winds around the lighthouse. The road that winds around the lighthouse. Interesting. Okay, so there's just food up there. I've no clue how to get there. We're still missing five snacks somewhere. I guess let's go up. Going down which way part one. We're just out here now. We came out of this pipe, I guess. It's not really where I wanted to be. I don't know where those last five snacks are. And I mean, like, I guess I could take that path back to Mystic Manor. Like, maybe there's some snacks floating up that spot, but I doubt it. Yeah, I am very unsure here. don't know where these last five snacks could be, and they're, they're probably a box of snacks. Right, right. There's also this stun ability. We don't ever really use the stun. Anyways, we can super easy shortcut through all of this thanks to just gliding around. I mean, I'll, I'll try taking that windy path up. I'm not really sure what else to do that we haven't done yet. Let's see here. I, I just don't know. Can't jump out of bounds there and find something in the foreground. That's just back to the mystery machine. I don't know. But, uh, we can warp back to that area at any time. So for now, let's warp back to this area. And in the next video, the video will start out... Well, I mean, should I should I give this some tries right now? I mean, if you don't want to see these tries, you don't have to see them, because they're at the end of the, of the video. So does that give me anything? I tried two, one, three, four. Right. Right. 
there's gonna be a lot of trial and error here. This is gonna be really dumb. Okay, yeah, so we'll just save this for the next video, probably. I'll, I'll give it one, uh, one more attempt, at least, before we close off. Once I start doing the trial and error, I'll try to go to a pattern, but for now, I'll just kind of try to guess it. Imagine if it was just one, two, three, four. Please be right. I don't think it is. Rummy. Right. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. Alright, well that makes me feel good. So we finally have this done, which means we're done with the whole hedge area. So let's get the heck out of here and back to Smuggler's Cove. We've still got to do the lighthouse, wreck on the deck, aghast by the mast, and shiver your timbers, scoop. Oh no, we've, we've, this one's done. So yeah, we've only got three areas left to do in, in Smuggler's Cove. And then how much do we have left in... Mystic Manor itself. Uh, we've got this area, this area, this one. We finished this one. We've still got to do this one and this one. That's not done. This one is done. That one's not done, and I haven't been to these two. It's a warp gate! Okay, so... Yeah, we're getting... Like, we're almost done. I'm thinking two more videos. Probably. We'll see, though. But anyways, that is gonna be it for this video. Like I said, next time we'll be... Um, we should be finishing up Smuggler's Cove. So yeah, I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.